Oh, hello YouTube. Today I'm the Naughty Librarian. I am going over my October TBR list. Quick disclaimer for a hot second. Um, <laughs> here's the deal. I have compiled a very spooky October TBR because you know what? 2020 is rough. I'm going full force in for Halloween because I want to feel something. So <laughs> I've compiled a great spooky book list. However, I have this feeling in my soul that's, a, that's just rebellious and I have this feeling like, oh, here's my TBR list. I'm going rogue. I don't know if I'm actually going to read all these, but for right now, this is what's on deck. But I feel it in my soul. I might go rogue. But for the time being, <laughs> here's the plan. <laughs> Let's start it off with some vampire goodness with A Quick Bite by Lindsay Sands. This is the start of her Argino Vampire series, which is like one of her biggest series. I think, oh, they're like on book 30. There's like a lot of these vampire books. I wonder if they all have the same plot. All of her historical romances seem to have the same plot. I'm wondering if it's the same plot, but now with vampires. We're gonna find out. I'm not sure, but I do like Lindsay Sands. There's something comforting about the fact that it's always kind of the same flavor, like a bag of mini Snickers. All the mini Snickers taste the same, but it's awesome because Snickers are delicious. So we'll see. Who knows? There's vampires this time, so there's that. This is a, a vampire woman named Lissiana and uh, Dr. Greg, Dr. Uh, Gregory Hewitt. <laughs> He wakes up randomly in her bed, doesn't really know how he gets there, and she doesn't know how he got there, but she's like, hey, your neck looks delicious. And he's just like, what? I'm into it. <laughs> and um, they go from there. So, I mean, it's a, it's a ludicrous plot setup. <laughs> I'm like, why not? You know what? Sometimes, if you're going to be ridiculous, go full force ridiculous. Go for it. I dare you. So <laughs> for just sheer ridiculous stuff, I'm, I'm into it. I'm, I'm looking forward. This might be great. Who knows? Also on deck, I have the Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. Talk about iconic horror stories. Ooh, I'm into this. I feel like I'm definitely going to read this. I mean, it's 230 pages. This is going to be a breeze. It's real short. <laughs> I can read this in a day probably. And I mean, it, we all know the story kind of, there's been several movie adaptations, but a uh, family moves into a haunted house, the, the haunting gets real bad, and the family flees about a month later, never to return because it's evil haunting stuff. And I'm into it, damn it. I want to see the source material for like the iconic horror story. I want it, I want spooky ghosts. Give me all of it. I'm so into this, I'm excited. It's a classic. I'm going to read it. I'm really actually really excited about this one. This one is definitely sticking on the TBR. It, it's not, I'm not going to go rogue from this one. Plus it's really short. Like it's, this is happening. I also have Ray Bearer on this list. I have heard amazing things about this book. And this is about this girl named uh, Tarasai. Again, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. I'm a horrible reader, but um, she is being raised by this uh, elusive woman she calls the lady and the lady is like hey you need to go and like worm your way into the the, the prince's council and then when she get on the council and the prince trusts you you gotta kill him and she's just like yeah no i don't think i want to do that she's kind of coming of age finding out who she is and also creepy magic and political intrigue so i do want to read this genuinely i just don't know if i want to read it in oct Uber. <laughs> but it's going to get read eventually, and I'm pretty excited about this. I've heard nothing but amazing things, and I'm pretty excited for it. It's going to be good. I'm excited. I don't, I, it, it might get read. Who knows? Again, a rebellious spirit is just bursting out of me right now. I don't know what's happening. A great book for Halloween, October in general, is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. I had this pre-ordered for so long, and I'm so excited it's finally here. Oh, it's got such a cool concept. I'm way into. We're following this boy named Yadriel, and Yadriel's got a lot of stuff going on. Yadriel is trans. Yadriel is coming of age. Yadriel is trying to prove himself as a brujo. So he goes to the cemetery. He's going to do this like ritual to summon a ghost, solve the murder, send the ghost on his way. It's going to be dope. Whoopsie daisy. He summons the wrong ghost, and then they and then he falls in love with them. So. <laughs> That's a premise for you. It's like, oops, I summoned the wrong ghost and now I'm in love with him. What are you gonna do? So, <laughs> I mean, I've heard so many things about this book for so long. It's been on my radar for so long and I pre-ordered it. I finally have it. I, this is like the perfect 
Halloween seasonal pick. So yeah, I am, I'm pumped for this one. It's also kind of short. I mean, it's YA, so usually they aren't super long in general. But yeah, it's 342 pages. I could knock this out. This is gonna be fun. I'm into it. I'm really excited. Yay! Also on deck, I have Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahirin. This is the sequel to Serpent and Dove, which came out last year and blew me away. I absolutely adored that book so much. So pretty much as soon as this was available for pre-order, I pre-ordered the shit out of this. <laughs> and I'm so happy it's here. This is just going to be following along uh, probably right where book one left off with Lou and Reed. I do know their names are Lou Reed together, but we're moving past that. Lou is a witch, Reed is a witch hunter. These crazy kids are married to each other. What craziness. And then there's like homicidal mothers, witchcraft, France, kind of, and like all kinds of stuff. I mean, I really, really loved book one so much. I just want to get back into this world again and be with these characters and just like have fun because I loved book one. Like it's stuck in my mind so long. I don't even think I need to really refresh my memory. Like I already know like what's going to be going on as soon as I go into this one because Serpent and Dove ended on such like a crazy note that I've just been dying to know what happens next for so long. So, ooh, I must wanna get, I wanna be in you. <laughs> I wanna read this so hard. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna read Dracula by Bram Stoker. The source material, the original. I actually have not read this before. I did make a video exposing myself for not having read it. That sounded weird because I just said I exposed myself, but Anyway, I haven't read this book yet, and it was my goal to read it before the end of the year, and I'm like, you know what? It's Halloween. This is the perfect time for Dracula. Let's do this. Also, I have this beautiful edition. It's super fuzzy. It's like, you know those velvet posters? It's like that in book form, so I'm like into it just for aesthetics. <laughs> I love it. And I know this book is like bonkers crazy, and I'm, I'm so excited. I actually got um, the Audible original presentation too, so I can like listen and read at the same time and be immersed because it has a full cast, and I think there's like real name actors in it. So yeah, I'm going full Dracula. Like, I'm into this. I'm gonna be immersed. I'm looking for it. I have like set up like a vibe, and this is fitting the vibe. In that same vibe, I'm also probably going to read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley because I actually have not read the original source material for Frankenstein. I've read a lot of different Frankenstein retellings. I've seen the play, I've seen the movies, haven't actually read the original book for some unknown reason. And I figured, you know what, Frankenstein and Dracula came out of the same author's retreat weekend. So I'm like, okay, let's do both. Let's go, let's do this. And also Audible has an original with a uh, cast retelling of Frankenstein so I can read along and listen along with a full cast. So again, I'm, I'm going immersive. These two books, they go together. It's a vibe. I'm gonna fully like enjoy myself. So I'm into this. Like this is gonna be immersive for both these books. They're both on my books list that I had to read in 2020. I'm gonna knock them out and I'm gonna have fun with it. Like I have built an experience and I'm into it. <laughs> mm, I really wanna read Mallory by Josh Mallerman. This is the sequel to Bird Box. And oh boy, like I loved Bird Box. It was one of those books, I pretty much read it all in one day. And then I closed the book when I finished and I said, fuck, that was good. It's one of those books where you immediately finish and you're like, oh my gosh, that was good. And it just hits you, it hits something different. And that's how I felt about Bird Box. And now we're continuing on with the story. And Mallory is such a fascinating character. I loved like how Mallory was described and being inside of her mind state in Bird Box. I mean, the movie is really, really different than the book, but oh man, like I wanna get back into this world. Ugh, Bird Box was terrifying in the best way. And now we're back with Mallory. I think this is uh, like 10 to 15 years probably after the original storyline happened. So I don't know, it, the, the monsters are still there. They still gotta wear blindfolds. That's all still happening, but now it's 15 years later. How has the world changed again? And we're following Mallory, still doing her thing, being a survivor. And oof, I just loved Bird Box so much. I, I, like as soon as I heard there was a sequel, I was like, what, there's a sequel? Pre-order now. <laughs> so this one's a pretty anticipated book for me. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Also on deck, I have The Shadows by Alex North because look at this cover. This is spooky as shit. 
This is a kind of spooky, maybe supernatural thriller. And we're following this guy named Paul. And when he was a teenager, he had this friend named Charlie. And Charlie was one of those like, you know, quiet loner kids and eventually committed an act of violence so horrid that it's like, it's infamous at this point. And uh, we're following Paul and he's grown up. He's trying to separate himself from this horrible thing because Charlie and Charlie's victim were Paul's friends. Like he was right in the middle of this. And he has to kind of go back to his hometown for reasons. And things start getting spooky really quickly because yes, Charlie committed an act of violent murder and Charlie was actually never seen again. So what happened to Charlie? What's going on here? What is happening with this spookiness? And uh, there's like a spooky ass mystery here and I am so intrigued, I wanna know. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> So yeah, this one seems really cool. Just as a concept, it sounds really dope. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one too. Oh man, I wanna read everything. I don't have time, but I wanna read everything. What am I gonna do? Last book on my somewhat unofficial but official TBR list is The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. I am definitely going to be reading this book because it is the book of the month for the Blades and Bodice Rippers Book Club. And October, there's going to be a live show on my channel on the last Saturday of the month. And do you know the last Saturday of the month of October? It's Halloween. Yes, we're having a Halloween party on my channel. It's going to be fun. It's going to be in the evening time since you know it's Halloween. It's canceled because you can't go out and do stuff. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a socially distant Halloween party right here on this channel. We're doing full vampire fest. We're gonna dress up, there's gonna be vampire goodies. We're gonna talk about this book in particular, which has vampires, and oh, it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited to just have a Halloween party with socially distant, everyone can come and just get into their bad vampire selves. I'm into it. <laughs> so please stay tuned. It's going to be in the evening on Halloween. I'm not sure exactly what time yet because you know, we may be actually having some guest stars come on the show with us. We're going to have some guests and it's going to be really fun. It's going to be in the evening. I would say probably five or six o'clock Pacific time right now to be determined, but it'll be around that time on Halloween. Come join our vampire party. It's going to be awesome. All right. So that is my TBR list at the moment. I have a feeling things might change. I'm unsure. We'll find out together what happens in the future. <laughs> I don't know what it is just in my side my soul it's just like yes I see your TBR list but do something else I don't know what it is it might be just I drink so much cold brew and I have like the caffeine of a million people in my body right now I don't know anyway let me know in the comments down below what do you have on deck for October are you reading spooky books are you excited for our vampire Halloween party on this channel it's gonna be so much fun let me all know all that stuff in the comments down below if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye! -bye.